Hola students, welcome back to another video. We are still focusing on de viaje en mi país and more specifically, lugares de interés. Please head up your books. In the previous class, you learned how to ask someone, where do you travel to? That question is, a donde viajas? Y para responder, we say, yo viajo al, that's if the place is masculine, or we say yo viajo a la if the place is feminine. Para esta clase, you are going to learn how to ask someone why they travel to a particular place. To find out why someone travels to a particular place, we ask the question, Por qué viajas al or a la followed by the place? What do you think is the difference between the al and the ala? If the place is feminine, meaning that it has the article la, and you want to find out why someone travels to the place, then we would use the question, Por qué viajas a la? Followed by the place. Como por ejemplo, for example, we have the beach. Now, beach in Spanish is la playa. To find out why someone travels to the beach, we would simply say, Por qué viajas a la playa? Why? Because it is feminine. Try these two for yourselves. How would you find out why someone travels to these two places? Remember the structure. Five minutes later. These are the answers. These places are feminine. They have the article la, so this is what we would use. Now, if the place is masculine, meaning that it has the article l, and we want to find out why somebody travels to the place, we would simply say, Por qué viajas al? And then the place would go on the line. For example, we have the park. Now, park in Spanish is el parque. To find out why someone travels to the park, we would simply say, Por qué viajas al parque? Why? Because park is masculine. Try these two for yourselves. Remember the structure. These are the answers. I hope you got them correct. Now, how do we respond to the question? Remember, you already know how to say, I travel to the park, I travel to the museum, I travel to the beach, etc. So now, all you need to do, or all you would need to do, is to add a reason. So I travel to the beach because it is peaceful, I travel to the museum because it's educational, among other reasons. So, we would simply add, porque es, meaning, because it is. So let us look on the structure. Now, if the place has the article L, you would simply say, Yo viajo al, then you put the place, porque es, then you put the adjective. If the place is feminine, you would simply say, Yo viajo a la, then you put the place, then you put porque es, followed by the adjective. Both of these phrases mean, I travel to wherever the place is, because it is whatever the adjective is that you want to use. Let us look on these two examples. The first one, Yo viajo al parque porque es hermoso. I travel to the park because it is beautiful. The second example, Yo viajo a la playa porque es hermosa. I travel to the beach because it is beautiful. If you look carefully at the two examples, you would notice that I followed the structure that I showed you before the examples. I have yo viajo al or a la followed by the place porque es and then I have the adjective meaning I travel to wherever the place is because it is and then the adjective. But I want for you to tell me, look on these examples again, cuál es la diferencia? If you said the adjectives, then you are correct. In Spanish, we have masculine and feminine adjectives. Masculine adjectives end with an O, and feminine adjectives are those which end with an A. Now, if the place has L, 
then we would use the adjective which ends with an O to describe the place. If the place has la, then we would use the adjectives which end with an A to describe the place. There are, however, a few adjectives which do not end with an A or an O. For those adjectives, we leave them as is. So if the place has la, the adjective should end with A. And if the place has L, the adjective should end with an O. So let us look back on the examples. Notice that because I'm talking about El Parque, I use Hermoso. However, for La Playa, notice that I have Hermosa, ending with an A. Let's look on some more adjectives. Please make note of them. Hermoso, Hermosa. Atractivo, Atractiva. Histórico, Histórica. Grande. Interesante, emocionante, tradicional, popular, famoso, famosa, divertido, divertida. Moderno, moderna, espacioso, espaciosa, caro, cara, educativo, educativa, antiguo, antigua, tranquilo, tranquila, relajante. Vamos a repasar. To find out why someone travels to a particular place, we simply say, ¿Por qué viajas al or a la followed by the place? To respond, we simply say, Yo viajo al or a la followed by the place, porque es, then we put the adjective. Recuerda, if the place has el, use the adjective with o. If the place has la, use the adjective with a. Y para los adjetivos, for those adjectives which don't end with an A or an O, we leave them and use them just as how they are. Entonces, that's it for today. Adios. Bye -bye. Bye -bye -bye.